Um, hello again. Uh, last time we, I, I recorded a video. We were unboxing uh, the Tesla charger. Well, I got bored after I unboxed it, and I decided to uh, get creative with it. Let me see if I can open it with one hand. And I kind of tore it apart. It pretty much did a tear down on it. Um, as you can see, it's almost empty, and the only reason it's not completely empty, it's that. These things are glued together permanently. Uh, I'll have to get really creative to remove them. Uh, I'll probably do a time lapse of that because it's gonna take me a few hours. But um, yeah, so this top part over here, I remove all the components and you can see them right here. And they're actually almost laid out as they are installed. So let me take this carefully so I can show you. This connector over here, uh, whoops, not this. Uh, let me get this away, sorry. This connector over here, it's a high voltage connector for the real Model X uh, air conditioning blower. It has four pins, it has two high voltage pins, I don't know if you can see them well. And then it has two really small ones at the top. They connect through this black cable connector here onto this corner. Um, then the high voltage cable is routed on this plastic tray and it connects directly to the high voltage uh, battery pack input or output to the charger, however, however you want to call it. Um, then it also goes to this fuse over here, so I think it's a 30 amp fuse last time I looked at it. Uh, yep, 30 amp. And then, as you can see, right beside the fuse, it's a high voltage fuse. Uh, this is the one that actually, uh, I assume it will be for the whole uh, charger. This is it's uh, 500 volts, 2000, uh, 2000 amps. You can see well here. Anyways, um, this goes over here. Now you remove that. Um, I also figured out what this thing was. I kind of had an impression it was a safety switch. This goes on the wall of the charger and its purpose is, I think it's a read switch. It will uh, close whenever the battery cables are connected as a safety mechanism. So you don't charge the car without the cables connected or if they fall off or anything. Um, this cable over here is a data cable that goes, I think it's a 40 pin cable. This goes to the control board right here at the bottom. Let me show this control board at the bottom. Uh, it's not good light there. Um, these two cables that come out of here are the output of the charger. They go all the way up through this channel and it arrives um, right, it arrives over here right, and that those cables connect down here. They connect, uh, I think it was here and here. I'm sorry, here and this small screw here and then the other one is this one over here. I, I apologize, cell phone camera crash. Um, so, I left off saying where the output of the charger connects. It connects to this post part right here. So now let's remove this plastic cover. This one, uh, it's kind of tricky to pull out. Give me a quick a second. There you go. This hides two contactors. Uh, they are gigabyte contactors. Um, the purpose of the contactors are to disconnect the charging cable from the whole battery system. And if I'm not mistaken, when you're charging, uh, more specifically when you're supercharging, uh, I haven't determined like the exact mode of operation, but uh, I suspect they would open up to uh, route the DC voltage uh, directly into the battery pack and and don't go into the uh, into the three phases of the power supply. Uh, sorry, charger. Um, so as if you can see here, also it has two relays. These two relays are for, uh, the same thing for safety mechanism. So when you put a cable in here, it's gonna, it has this plastic, uh, if you can see it in here, it has this plastic channel that's gonna actually close the relay, indicating that you actually plug into uh, a cable as a safety mechanism again. It has an op arm here, uh, I think it's this one for, no, this one over here, for both, uh, for I assume for me measurements of some sort. I haven't actually determined it. Um, let's see, what am I missing? This black connector over here is for the safety switch. Um, I have a few diodes, transistors, blah, blah, blah. Uh, oh, one quick thing. Um, 
here you can see the mark the bus bars for uh, what cable should be connected in this so in this case this will be neutral for your home ac well through the charger and then this one will be line one i assume if this was a two-phase uh, well a three-phase charger it would have different bus bar configuration and this whole part would probably be different um so let me see flip let me see I, I could flip it but it's not gonna do much because it's protected by plastic uh, all of the high voltage components are protect, protected or isolated using this plastic yellow plastic which makes complete sense you don't want any of the high voltage stuff near the metal um, and so I'll later on submit a time-lapse video uh, things I wanted to point out about this it has uh, 40 amp fuses in here two for each phase so it has three phases uh, later on I'll figure out I'll, I'll record a video with the endoscope of the insides of it but you're not missing much so far from what you can see so it's probably not worth it it has two these two giant these soldering points are for uh, inductors and all the faces are the same they have an Altera uh, uh, FPGA I think it's a Max 10 Apparently my cell phone hates me, crash again. Uh, so I'll finish this part quickly. This has an Altera FPGA, um, which I'm not sure how it's running yet, but usually one of the two chips, it's a Altera Max 10 FPGA, and then it's a DI, I think it's DMS320 DSP. So you usually would get the code for that would uh, turn on, on and off the transistors all around the border, which I'm not sure if you can see well here. Let me get a light. Those things you see under there are, are the MOSFETs or transistors uh, that it's using, it's, and it has on both sides. They are connected to like a, some sort of metal backplate, I assume for cooling purposes. And I also assume this cha plastic channel you're seeing here, it's like a water cool loop, or it's used to transmit uh, the heat downwards onto the water system, or, or the water backplate. Um, and then lastly, um, they are all the same, I'll do a tier, uh, I won't probably do the endoscope, but I'll definitely do a time lapse of me removing them. I suspect it's gonna be a lot of work. Uh, anyway, if you like this video, please upvote, subscribe, or follow me, or uh, I'll try to pro uh, get a new video in about a week, since I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a lot of work to remove these things. They are, they have this epoxy for isolation too and protection, apart from the conformal coating that you usually put on the board. So it, it's double protected, though, at, least, at least those high voltage connections. Anyways, uh, thank you.